and when there's limitation the copyright holder of the trademark holder cannot do anything most time you find the limitation in the law i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it up in some work and believe hi welcome welcome in this video like you know during this series of video i will answer a random question on the internet if you're new to the channel and you like this kind of content don't forget to subscribe what we're going to do right now is we're going to look at the question i'm going to give you an idea how you can get the answer and maybe you can use it so the question is can i use logo in my podcast video um if it's your logo yes um let's look look at the background story and then we're going to talk about this so we are uploading our podcast in video format on youtube okay that's clear and i was wondering if we could use the logos of movies and videos game in the video when we are talking about those games and movie the answer on this question is really difficult it's not that people do not know the answer it depends on what you're doing in your video because if you're reviewing a game yeah you can do it but if you're doing other things that's gonna make it difficult um, I'm going to explain that soon, but let me read the question again. So we are uploading our podcast in video format on YouTube. And I was wondering if we could use the logo or movie and video games in the video when we are talking about those games. Yeah, it depends what you talk, what you talk about. If it's a commentary, yeah, you can use it. But it depends how far you go. Let me explain this. So we're going to go to the drawing board and then I'm going to explain to you how it works. So you can get an idea what I'm talking about. So this is a drawing board and this is the situation as far as I understand from this question because most time when you have a question online it's limited to the information that you have so it's hard for you to uh, determine what they have or what they don't have. So we're going to answer this question based on the information that we are having. So if you look at this we have um, one person so let's say this is one person and we have the YouTube channel and they want to use let's say this is a movie and let's say this is game from other people so let's say we have here m and this is game they want to use the logo so this is the logo of those company so they want to use the logo of those company right let's keep it like this so they want to use the logo of this company yeah interesting so the thing is they want to put this logo in their video on youtube so they have a video they put it here video so we have a fee here the video yeah they want to put the logo in the video right as soon as you put the logo in the video we have publication and also reproduction reproduction means you make a copy of a logo you make it public for everyone so technically you put it in your video that's what we are having here right now yeah the question is do you have those rights yeah do you have those rights so if you look at copyright so this is the person and this is what they are planning to do if you have a copyright you always have abc formula so we have a you have a b and C. A is the right itself. So if you look at here, when you have a logo, you have the copyright on it. But not in this case, it's not only copyright, it's also trademark. Most time when you look at movies, when they have a logo or name or whatever, I can assure you, most of the time, they register those things as a trademark. And the problem with that is they do not only have a copyright, but they also have a trademark. So in this case, we're going to focus only on copyright. But I will mention that those people also have trademark. And trademark is a little bit stronger than copyright. So here they have a trademark. Let's say the, the person that made the movie or the company that made the movie is copyright holder. I do not know which movie is talking about. So that's going to make this a little bit difficult. But B is always the copyright holder. And when you have B, the copyright holder, the copyright holder has the right to make it public and reproduce it. Same with trademark. You have the right to make it public or reproduce it. It's that simple. But trademark, you have more rights. The reason why trademark is strong is because you register and you can find exactly in the law what your rights are. So the copyright holder has a lot of rights. And the rights are here. 
Same with trademark. The trademark holder has a lot of rights and you can find the rights in the law. You, in this case, are C. You want to use those rights. You see, you rights to make it public and reproduce it. You need to ask the copyright holder or the trademark holder permission. If you do not ask permission, you have a problem because they can come after you, not only for copyright, but also for trademark. You understand what I mean? But most of the time, those big companies doesn't have time for those things. They focus on things that are only important. What do they do? On their website, you can find a guideline how you can use their logo or how you can use their copyright. So on their website, most of the time you find a guideline and they said, if you are using our logo, you need to meet this requirement. If you are using our trademark, you need to meet this requirement. You understand what I mean? So when you follow this guideline, you are getting technically permission if you meet all of the requirements. So how can you get permission? Look on the website and see if they have a guideline for using the trademark of copyright. How are you allowed to use the logo? Simple, right? But there are also another way. Sometimes you do not need permission. Sometimes there's a limitation. And when there's a limitation, the copyright holder of the trademark holder cannot do anything. Most of the time you find the limitation in the law. And it depends on the situation. At the beginning of the video, I told you, what are you going to talk about? And that's an important matter because sometimes you want to give a review or sometimes you meant to make a commentary. In those cases, if you meet the requirements of the law, there's a limitation. And when there is a limitation in the law, that means the, the right of the copyright holder will be limited. And that means you can allow to use the copyright or the trademark as long as you meet the requirements and nothing will happen to you they cannot come after you because we like hey i meet the requirements of the limitation so you cannot do anything you understand what i mean what are the limitation i made a video about that but you can also look in the law of trademark or in the law of copyright so when there is a limitation you don't have to worry about anything as long as you meet requirements of limitation and it's not up to you to decide if you meet requirements of limitation no it's up to judge to decide that not you yeah so as soon as you meet requirement of limitation you're good to go but most time if you really want to use the logo of someone else just look on their website see if you meet the requirements of their um, license where you meet the requirement of the license you're good to go and you don't have to worry about a lot of things. There's two ways how you can get permission. One, you can ask for permission or you can look at the website. Maybe they can give you a permission if you meet the requirements. Or you can limit the copyright or trademark if you meet the requirements in the law. Look in the law, see if you meet the requirements and if so, then you can use the logo. So let's recap. Can I use logo in podcast video? Yes, you can. It depends on the situation. Sometimes you need permission. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes when you do not meet the permission, you need to make sure that you meet the requirements. And if you need permission, you can just ask them. Ask them permission. Or sometimes some companies, some big companies, gaming company, movie company, they have requirements on the website. If you meet the requirements on the website, you will get the permission to use the logo in your videos or not. So. If this is not clear for you and you have more questions about it, feel free to contact me on Discord. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this kind of video and you want to support us, just press the link in the description. You can support us by buying us some coffee or buying us some books. I will see you in the next video. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be.